can you take LDN, LDN alongside tinctures, which also have alcohol in them? Is it also okay to take PEA? Um, so we do get asked this quite a lot because naltrexone is used um, in full dose to help with alcoholism or reducing um, the drinking of alcohol. So it used to be called the Sinclair method. And the idea was taking a full dose of naltrexone while you are still drinking uh, means that you gradually, because it blocks all of the happiness and the ability to release endorphins, then you disassociate the, um, the act of drinking alcohol with any pleasure because you're blocking the pleasure with full dose naltrexone. Now, that doesn't happen with low dose naltrexone. So there's no, you're not blocking the receptors for long enough and you're not causing enough of an impact for there to be any concern with that altogether. So absolutely fine. If you want to take LDN alongside the same day as tinctures, um, you know, then that's absolutely fine. Is it also okay to take PEA? And the answer to that is yes, but we would suggest probably taking it at a separate, a different time of day. PEA is an endocannabinoid. It's uh, called palatal ethanolide, and it works in a very similar way to CBD or, or you know, or, or marijuana um, to help reduce pain. We have quite a number of papers on it. It's not licensed in the UK, and we do have a number of patients on it. Most of them are animals, though, interestingly, dogs and cats. <laughs> so it's interesting. But yet, PEA is certainly something that um, we see more of, um, but it does, it's not absorbed very well orally. So if you are taking PEA, I would look to try and get a sublingual preparation or something that is um, liposomal um, or, or encapsulated.